Hey guys and girls, welcome to back to another tutorial video brought to you by Massey Lee. So today we're going to be showing you how to install and download guidance steering for Farm Sim FS22. Let's get into the video. So what you need to do is go onto FarmSim website, link will be in the description. Then all you need to do is go into the mod section, go down where it says guidance steering, download, and go to your download folder, so save it, come out of that, file explorer, Go to download, drag and drop it into your mods folder, open up the game, once it has been installed, go to your career, go to your save game, I will go to my multiplayer and show you on the multiplayer. So I'll just quickly connect to that. I hope you're doing good and keeping well. Looking forward to Christmas and that. If you like the video, please give it a like. Also, share it out and subscribe for more. And also, I do stream on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, feel free to come over on there to come and support my silly. Right then, so we're just loading into the game now. So we'll just jump into our vehicle. We'll just choose this Massey Ferguson. Put some lights on. I will just quickly head over to the shop. buy it you should have enough money to configure it because at the moment you can see is there's no guidance steering markers on the of the gearbox system so it should work for all tractors so I just quickly head up to the shop and go to the marker where we can customize our vehicles So here is the marker, just put our tractor in here and then we'll just go to the marker point, press the R button, select the vehicle, so we want to go customization. In here you will see a new column called GPS, to activate it you just press the arrow and it's going to cost £15,000, so all you do is just press customize. And yes, £15,000 lighter. Now we are. So I'll just head back to the farm. Now you can see there's a few little um, little menu system above your gearbox system now. Which means you do have the GPS enabled. So I head back to the farm, put an implement on and then we'll show you how to do that. Pretty simple and easy to do. So if you do want to come and join us on the multiplayer server, you do have to join the Discord, the link will be in the description. And obviously if you are a subscriber over on Twitch, then you get to create your own farm. Right, 
I don't so back at the farm now. Just go hook up to a machine. So I need to sort out these greenhouses later. Right, so I just hook up to a cedar. It's the cultivators behind the cedar drill, so we just hook up to that. I will head over to the field. So to turn the GPS on, I'll show you all the commands and the the buttons about for me. So here we go then I'll just zoom out a little bit. Right then. So what you need to do is you press Alt C to turn it on and then the blue light will appear with the satellite navigation enabled. To get the menu system it is Control S, so this is the menu interface. So you want to enable guidance steering, yes, snap lines, uh, show lines, yes, uh, offset lines, you can give all that yourself, and uh, snap terrain angle. So this snap terrain angle will follow the contours of the ground, and offset reversal, you can have an offset on. So this is a headland management system type thing. So you can put the distance on and it will stop at the end of the headland so it will bleep at you then a few minutes later it will stop. Here you can do auto width so you can do auto width it for the, for the implement sometimes it does it itself and you can have it as like an offset as well. In here is your general settings where you create your A line and your B line. So just do a B A line now. As you can see, um, we got the A there, and we need to create a line. So we just drive 15 meters. There you go. That should be enough. We got a line there, and we'll go back into the menu now. I will just put our B line there. So there you go, that is your GPS. And to activate it, you do Alt X and it will come up with a green line and it will bleep at you. So we'll just take it off, Alt X and Alt X to turn it. So all you do is just press your cruise control and away you go. If you don't want to do it like that, there is a simple way of doing it. So just do Alt X again. So go back into your menu system by pressing Control S. All you do is just go over here, head and head in, just press select A. And it will ask you to generate the course. So you just press that one. And you can also save it, you can also rotate it. So if it's pointing that way, you can rotate it so it's pointing forwards. So that is set now, you don't have to faff around with the A line or the B line, you just press Alt X and then press Cruise Control and that is how you do guidance steering everybody. So it is now steering itself and it's all doing itself as well. So if you do want to steer it, um, come out of it all you need to do is just turn your steering wheel slightly to the right or your keyboard and it will be deactivated to activate it again Alt X and it will go back onto the line automatically so if you have liked the video please leave a like also hit that subscribe button share it out leave a comment down below and um, yeah I shall see you in the next one guys bye for now